We're good. Can we start? Mm hmm. Alrighty. First place, Lernoid and Fern uh, Fernoid deck profile, bro. We got three Decatron, uh, MVP, only normal summon of the deck. Don't need to explain. Next, we got uh, one Entra. Uh, I thought about playing it at two. It came up a lot today, being able to just bounce back cards. And, but it being a two makes it a weird level uh, with Void Feast. Uh, double Harmer Dyke pops a card. Double Petrolia pops a Spell or Trap. Then we got the one Sajit for the Void Feast. Uh, double Sides Moss. Uh, being able to banish a card at the end of the battle phase if you this card attacks a monster. Came up thousands of times today. Won a lot of games. Uh, one Alton Dale for the eight. And uh, it attacks twice. Then for the big boys, I got double Devi, double Anunku. I think this is pretty standard. Negate monster effects, negate spells and traps. I think it's pretty standard. Uh, for the other monsters... We got in the main, uh, double chaos hunter. Uh, my theory with this was I wanted to go second. Um, I decided to go first games two and three if I needed to, but uh, I want to go second with Orcus and everything else. The rogue decks being live, um, chaos hunter in the main is just a great option. Uh, three gamma and one driver to close it off, kind of standard in every Fornoy build. That does it for the monsters. Once it spells, MVP. Best spell. Void Vanishment searches out everything that you need to search out. Uh, only double imagination. I thought about playing it at three because I want to go second, and the theory was opening as much as you can with the format being the way it is. But um, there, I just found there were a lot of cards I'd rather have over this. And with it being at three, the chance of me drawing it is too high. I don't want to draw it. I always want to search it. Uh, for the field spells, we got double layer one Mystic Mine have to um <laughs> it sucks but you kind of have to just for the simple fact of you want to sit and set up if you can and then try to go for game but your deck is not going to be reliable reliable on resources because i don't play anything like burial from a different dimension or anything like that so once they're gone they're gone and then the ones here are forming to search them out um, Mystic Mind seems to be the new savior of Rogue decks. It, it really is. It really is, honestly. Uh, the other MVP of this deck is Triple Monster Gate. This card's back at three. I think every Inferno player should be playing this card at three. Uh, double Mind Control. Take a monster. Link it off. Who plays? Double Super Poly. Uh, it's at three, but three is way too much. The other, the other rogue, rogue savior. The other rogue savior, along with Mystic Mind. It's just, they're crazy. This Nibiru Mystic Mind, it's just, it's just crazy. Uh, double call. You don't want your Void Vanishment or your Decatron to get ashed. And then the, the best one of those in the deck is one for one in Reasoning. Uh, the last trap for that I play is Void Feast. You only want to play that one. I side a second one in case I'm going first. I mean, I think, it, I think it's both. You're all Moving on to the extra deck. We got the four tokens, obviously for Lair. But um, we got one Link Kribo for Decatron in case he gets impermed or something like that, or if you don't want to use his effect. Uh, Beat Cop for the tokens off Lair, and it's generic off of uh, Mind Control. You take a generic monster. Do little to Inferno monsters. Make some big go for game. Kita, all fire. Uh, this against Salad is great. It's GG. Uh, for Nightmares, we got one Unicorn and one Phoenix, standard. Um, for Game Pushers, we got Equimax and Boral Sword. Um, Boral Sword is it's standard. Equimax is cool because um, I like the fact that you can put Inferno Monsters underneath it, make it big, swing for swing for a bunch of damage, and then tribute them off to get additional effects so you're not you're not locked into them. And plus, doesn't like Equimax not negate the monster effects? You just, they just can't yeah, attack. Yeah, so, just I mean, can't attack. I mean, Anunsu and Debbie Audi are just They're all super still good. alive. Um... The package, three I mean two Natissas and one Omega, to go for the Tierra Sins. Um, uh, I didn't want to play this card at three. Three is too much. Two is perfect. And then Super Poly targets in the main. We got uh, for Rogue Cyber Dragon matchups and stuff. It never came up today, but I was, I was ready. I was ready just in case it did. Uh, salad salad matchups. We have it. And then everything else basically. Rogue Thunder. A whole bunch of just it hits a lot of a lot of targets. I used this today on uh, an Orcus player today. I super polyed him. Uh, for the side deck, we got one Lancia. Uh, it's for Orcus.
We got one spell counselor. It's for strikers. Uh, we have two dimensional uh, shifters. This was for Orcus as well. And the theory was when they make Alatea to send this going second. Uh, if we if we sided in going second again, or even if we went first, we make this on the Galatea, and then it kind of stops their plays right then and there. The most they can do is ding to you, ding to you, but that that buys you a turn. And what's the problem? Uh, and then go in a burial. I feel like it's kind of standard. For the spells, three twin twisters, uh, back row heavy decks, mystic minds that you don't want to deal with. Moving on for traps, we got. Three summon limits. Hey, Going first. It's it's crazy. Card. You can sit on one on Unku and win the game. One on Unku and Mr. Mine. Some of them win the game. Uh, skill drain. Put this in last minute. And the reason I put it in was for the simple fact of, like I said, my beast, my, my monsters are big. I can just sit on them and win. One void feast. Second one if I'm going first. And then one dragon. So my other super probably target. Just in case um, I'm playing rogue options. That's the other three didn't fit. And that's my other one. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.